So some of the common myths about interdiction is, or the ones that I've heard, especially being in uniform and on the road previously, is everybody just thinks interdiction and they think highway interdiction, uh, local roads and townships interdiction, but it's completely left out hotels, motels, airport parcels, and parking lots. And when I first got assigned to the interdiction unit, I can't tell you how many times I thought, like, what are we going to get at an airport? They have TSA there. They have CBP there. And shortly after working at International Airport, Philadelphia International Airport, I quickly realized that TSA is only there for a presence to prevent people from getting on board with explosives, guns, bombs, um, and anything that could be dense, such as a bomb or an explosive, into a check bag or a carry-on bag. Besides that, they're not looking for kilos of cocaine, they're not looking for hundreds of pounds of marijuana or $100,000, $200,000 of money that are being smuggled onto the airports and you know, throughout, throughout the country to other source cities, Los Angeles, Miami, Dallas, Texas, so on and so forth. So it's not just the highway interdiction. There's a whole other avenue of interdiction that's often overlooked, like I said previously, hotel motels, airports, parking lots, and parcels.